Um, again, I mean, I think the potential to catalyze social change through film is remarkable here. Um, if you were to give the audience the real storyline and trajectory of this, mm -hmm. the nuance to your book, mm -hmm. how would you describe that? Uh, well, the book takes place over 29 years, and obviously that's a challenge to <laughs> to, to tell that in you know two hours in a in a uh, a, a theater. Um, but the the movie really focuses on the moment in which Katherine Johnson. Uh, many of you may have known her or even interviewed her, or know her story. Um, who's most closely affiliated with the astronauts and who. Um, double check the computer's calculations for John Glenn's Mercury flight. Um, so the, the movie really centers around that time when the United States is falling behind the Russians, the Russians have put the Sputnik uh, satellite in the space, the Americans are trying to catch up, and it's all hands on deck, and you know, in the moment of truth, um, our wonderful Miss Johnson is, is right there double checking the calculations and you know, providing one of the um, the checks to the flight so that uh, John Glenn goes into space and comes back home safely. Right. So um, that that's really uh, the the trajectory of the movie. Um, the book starts in World War II um, because that's really when these women first started coming in. So um, as airplanes gave way to the space program, so did these women who were originally working on the airplanes. Um, they were eventually drafted to work on the space program. So we know the story of Crispus Attucks in, in Boston.